feel like getting a Jesus dress. back on your screen with another vlog hope you're all well one thing i love about buying things from this for sale that i know i'm going to need is times like these i thought that i didn't have a back of this but it was there in the cut you saw my little morning routine how i went back to curly from straight it's also a super rainy day as you can see so i'm not trying to fight with the elements because i'm going to go and run a few errands today i almost went to brunch but then i was in the shower so i missed the message he fell back asleep. That's what Sundays are for, anyways. Meanwhile, I'm listening to Transformation Church. Do you listen to church or no? I feel like no one's religious anymore. Everyone's spiritual <laughs> or agnostic. If you like it, I love it. I'm not judging. Anyway, on the roster today, I have to go get a couple things from the grocery store. I have to refilm so much. I was editing. I woke up early this morning because I want to be on time with the weekly vlogs. It takes so much out of me. I spend on average about an hour a day filming, which may not sound like a lot, but think about it. You're in the mix, you're doing things, and then you're stopping to film to talk or to explain what you're doing. And I made a point of explaining where I was going, what I was doing every single time in last week's vlog. And most of those, for some reason, are not in the file they're supposed to be. I don't know if I accidentally deleted it or it didn't transfer properly. So I'm missing a whole day plus hours of footage that I usually edit down to 45 minutes. So I hope you guys still enjoy the vlog, even though so much is missing. To find time to redo these things. My yoga video that I filmed, my head was cut off. Mario was not thinking of blind people when he made this, but it's still blind girl friendly. This side. I can just brush out any mistakes and ta-da! I think a lot of people can tell something's wrong with my eyes, not just by how I don't look at them in real life, but also because my makeup half the time isn't quite right. That's okay, that's life. I'm just getting used to it. It honestly used to mess with my self-confidence a lot. And I even had a moment a couple weeks ago when I noticed that it got worse. Someone was talking to me and I was listening to them, but it was hard to focus because I was literally trying so hard to focus on their face and be like, wow, I can't see, getting in my head about it. And then like, no, focus on what they're saying. When's the next Sephora sale? They used to have one in August, but I don't think they're gonna do that anymore. I think the next one is November. It's always the first week, so it's like a birthday treat. Scorpio Hive, where are you at? Okay, let me just do this super quickly. Do, 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 do. The best thing about these spoolies is they're so rough so I can hear it combing my hair even if I can't see it. Let's go to something more interesting. Your body need a license fit. Your body not too tight and neat. Anybody with her eyes can't see. She just wanna dance and see. She just wanna dance and see. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. Listen, you'll be missing since 2016. Squid tell me one fix. You know that's my sister. When she speak, I listen. She swears you're my missing. I say we think different. I, 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 I see. 
by your heart I see Come baby, come, come try me Who you gonna love if you run by me, love? Too many twists and turns, twists and turns, girl. Lot of many twists and turns, twists and turns, girl. Baby, call me I too fly, I get burned. Lot of many twists and turns, twists and turns, girl. Your body never crazy, your body need a license fee. Got your body at the tight and heat. Anybody who got eyes can I see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. just began. So I woke up early this morning, happy that it was a sunny day, sad that it's cold, it feels like fall, okay? Then I did my usual routine, went to the gym, came up, was trying to pick an outfit, couldn't decide because I don't want something that's going to rub against my burn. And then I was looking and I'm like, wait, that's weird. I thought I put my sweater back here. So yesterday I wore that little brown number to run to the grocery store and do some errands. I had put the sweater on top of my bag, but I had looped it through so it wouldn't fall off. But I guess when I was passing by someone, it caught. I just knew it wasn't here and I like closed the door and opened it back. You know, like the scene in Jesus Walks where the fridge is closed, open, it's full. My sweater didn't appear and I was like, damn, and it thunderstormed yesterday. But then I was thinking, I was walking by a lot of people because where I live, it's quiet but the main street is busy. So someone saw this sweater fall off of my bag and didn't say anything. But someone did say something when they saw me scoop this up. I'm not even gonna touch it because it's gross. I'm gonna wash it twice and soak it for two hours. Tell me why two girls passed and they're like, did I just? Yes, you did. And I don't have my AirPods in so I could hear them saying that clearly about me. I mean, there was only two other people walking by on the street because it's early in the morning. Why couldn't anyone have that same energy when I dropped my sweater yesterday? Like, hey, miss, your sweater dropped. That could save me having to sterilize the thing. If I could, I would bleach it, but it's brown, so that can't happen. I'm so annoyed. I mean, I'm glad that it was there because I love this sweater. I bought it more than 10 years ago. I was still in uni when I got this. I was still in Brampton when I got this. It might actually be 15 years old. You know some of those pieces that you love? They may not even be in style or on trend, but I don't care. Anyways, I'm going to start the soaking process now because it rained two times yesterday. You saw that thunderstorm. <sighs> outfit change why is there hair in my eye Ugh, I hate when that happens <laughs> anyways I made my matcha it's looking good I haven't tasted it yet because I want to have it with some waffles make it pop 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 it's ironic I was listening to a podcast this morning about the power of not letting your past get the best out of you you should listen to it. it's from 10% happier I will link it in the info box if you want to have a listen it's one of my favorite podcasts always list my mood but this one this week did something a little different <sighs> i started getting into my nostalgia bag and thinking about my past and i'm like wait when have things ever actually worked out for me 
and the Jeopardy theme song went off in my head. I realized nothing's ever gone according to plan. And that's saying a lot, because I'm a huge planner. The handle's not there. <laughs> I plan everything. I have a Google Calendar. I've always had an agenda since, what, middle school when they gave them to you? And I started buying my own. I like to plan my life. Not type A plan my life, but I like things to go according to plan. And I'm wondering, why do I do that? Do things ever go according to plan for you? Because they never do for me. I'm trying to think, in big life events, not little things like my sweater dropping off my bag and going for it after a thunderstorm, that, that's light work. But big life events, nothing has ever gone according to plan for me. I'm still highly favored, blessed, and grateful. Don't get it twisted. But you know, I talk about it almost every week. Anytime you have it set in your mind, I desire this. This is why I don't believe in manifestation, because if that's the case, your girl would be cured. And 10 other things on my list would have been activated, but nothing has happened. Other things have happened. Other things have worked out sometimes better than I imagined. Some things haven't happened. And I keep telling myself God's timing. If you're not a Christian, the universe timing. If you're not esoteric or spiritual, it's at random. Okay, how about that? I just don't like this idea of consistency is key. Because you could be consistent. Sometimes it just isn't meant to be for whatever it may be. So that was my little sesh for this vlog. I feel like I did a lot of ranting and rambling in last week's vlog. I don't know if you like that or not, but I remember calling it out at least four or five times. I'm like, girl, I don't know what's more annoying. You ranting and rambling or saying sorry for ranting and rambling after doing it for the fifth time. I feel like I'm fishing for waffles in this. Okay, so on the menu is going to be a little bit of bok choy, salmon. I was supposed to go grocery shopping today. That didn't happen. Life got the best of me. It's whatever. So I might make black rice, because I haven't had that in a minute. Wash my fish, speaking of clean, don't come for me. I know some people are like, you wash fish? Yes, you don't? Hello? That here is a thing. Still need to try tilapia. I asked you guys months ago, months ago if it was good, and I still haven't tried it yet. Every time I go to the grocery store, I'm like, mm, is this gonna be the week? No, salmon. Farm Boy has the best veggies, hands down. Now that price point though, we need to talk about that. Spice is nice is twice as nice. I need that. And there was one more thing I needed. But before that, I hadn't been to Walmart in such a long time. My top, because I ended up getting a little warm. You know, summer's gonna be back by the end of this week. 35 plus degrees, I'm here for it. Every time I see broccoli crowns, oh, I wanted to get broccoli. I don't think they have it at that grocery store anyway. Isn't it so weird what my mind goes to? Anywho. No, you don't need to know about that. These are discontinued sponges, which really suck because I love white sponges. It just looks so much more aesthetic. Receipt one, receipt two and three. Oh. I never thought there'd be a day when I use this or my phone on a daily. My little card holder, which is actually part of my wallet. 
So smart of Kate Spade to do that. Okay, I got this, which I'm super hyped about. I don't have product showcase on, so you probably can't see, but it's by Vaseline and it's a healing balm. I don't know why it's called a healing balm because it has shimmer in it. And I saw this instantly love. You probably can't see because you need a My camera said full memory card, so I don't know if I was talking to you guys about this before it stopped. I have to zoom in and read what the healing bit is about. But this is a shimmer stick and I'm so here for it. When I used to work at Victoria's Secret, I loved their shimmer lotion. As far as I know, the best you can get is the Patrick Ta Body Spritz Oil or the Body Sauce by Fenty, which is no cap, 10 times the price of this, which is crazy. I knew by the time I finished my grocery haul, I wouldn't be able to go to Lush and get the lotion that I love. So I got this in the meantime. I'll probably go to Lush tomorrow. I have had the worst luck with drugstore lotions this year. I have tried a couple different brands, a couple different formulations. I'm not eczematic. That's not how you say it. I don't have eczema. That's what I'm trying to say. But for some reason, my skin is super dry. Plus, what is this? I really hope you can't see it because it's kind of gross. But I've had this for the last two, three weeks. I was waiting for it to go away on its own. I hate running to the doctor for every little thing. But then she also gets mad at me because I'll call her and then she'll call back because they still only do phone consultations unless it's something serious. Three years later, can you leave? I think that's gonna be a thing going forward, even with the pandemic is done. There's still candy in my teeth. More of the story is, I probably slept too long on this. It's pretty gross. It's like a cluster of bumps. I don't know if it's fungus, what it is. I don't wanna know, I just want it to go away. And I was trying to use natural remedies, but nothing worked, so it's time to get some ointment, hopefully. We'll see, by Thursday I'll have an answer and let you guys know in case you go through this too. I got some Clorex, or it's actually called Comet. All these years I've been calling this Clorex, well then. But this is good for cleaning the sink and the toilet. Very, very good. And then some wipes, because you wanna feel fresh after you go to the toilet, right? I'm a sucker for almond oil. I even have sweet almond oil in the cut that I've been applying to this, which by the way, can you see this? I think wearing this top was a really bad idea today. You no, know, I said I wouldn't talk about it in this week's vlog, but look, it's eroding. This is not good for healing. I think I got lotion in my eyes. Morning guys, that's the thing about long nails. If you don't make sure that you get every little bit of moisturizer out and then you wipe, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Today is just one of them days. You know those days. I must have slept for half an hour. I woke myself up because I was talking about my dilemmas. That's when you know it's gray. Anyway, that means I'm in need of caffeine. I don't know if I want a matcha or a coffee. What should I do? Let's do coffee because I opened that hazelnut creamer last week and I don't know how long you're supposed to have those things open for before you finish them up. I would do, what is this, glassware? Disaster. I'm about doing pistachio or should I finish off the coconut rum? There's a place in the neighborhood called Beanwise. They have so many options of, wait, I brought you guys a couple vlogs ago. Well, at this point, probably a year ago. Time is flying. There's a lot on the roster for today. Most things I can't tell you about just yet. Knock on wood, fingers crossed, pray. <laughs> things work out for me. This is why I'm wearing this shirt, which I remember when I bought this, I'm like, I can't live without this. You know those pieces? And then you forget about them. I haven't worn this shirt in over a year. It's pretty bad. But you know what? The best thing about the pandemic is it really curved. You know what I'm lying, because at the beginning of the pandemic, all I did was buy yoga sets and sweatpants. I just figured athleisure was gonna be my new everyday norm, especially with the job I was working at the time. 
when we would come out of lockdown temporarily, it was super cash. I could literally wear aloe yoga or Lululemon to work. Stop buying as much as I used to, although there's a couple pieces from the last two hauls that I showed you from months ago that I still haven't worn because I haven't gone anywhere. What I was trying to say, in not too many words today, is the truth is losing my dad really opened my eyes to stop over consuming. So my auntie and I had the harrowing task, and I don't wish this on anybody because it's bad enough losing a parent, but having to clean out their place. I learned a lot about my dad from cleaning out his place. You know, mostly good things. Some things it just reminded me of when I was little and I used to go through his bit books and I'd see his sketches. He's really good at drawing. Other things like his intense labeling of everything and I'm like, why am I work so organized? Because my mom's not organized like that. I definitely got it from him. <laughs> and then lastly, and most importantly, his closets were full, 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 full. And not just that, tons of things with tags. I might have out of the four closets, which is excessive, I know, but that's what my bachelor came with. I might have in those four closets, maybe, maybe five pieces without, with tags still on it. That's not bad. That means I've worn everything at least once. And most things I wear twice, and some things I wear, as you can see in last week's vlog, to the ground. That, that sheer beach dress, it's gotten too much play this season. But anyway, my mom has never been materialistic. I was very restricted as a child, like I had to wear overalls, that's why I hate them now, because I would wear overalls over the shirt, and then I'd wear them under the shirt so it looks like I'm wearing a different jean, and then I get bullied by the kids because they're like, we know what you're doing, you're poor. Why are kids so vicious? Anyways, as soon as I was making a little bit of coin, your girl started to build up her wardrobe shopping at Urban Planet and Sirens and Limite. If you know, you know. So anyway, that's where the obsession began. I think partially because I think some things are genetic. I, I really do. I really do think that I got organization and a passion for fashion from my dad, but also I think being restricted because I also went OD on nail polishes, even though I can't paint my nails anymore. You don't want to know. I'll show you my nail polish collection before this vlog is over. Remind me. Put some B-roll in here when I'm editing because I won't remember. Editing Alicia here. I knew I would forget to show you the collection. That's one, two, three, four. And these are all filled. I don't know if you can see, but maybe it's a good thing because this is embarrassing. Why did seeing Alicia think it would be okay to buy this much nail polishes knowing blouse and skirts? I really did love doing my nails back in the day, no lie. It's just sad. It's just overboard. Growing up, I wasn't allowed to wear nail polishes. So as soon as I was old enough, as in in my 20s, to buy nail polish, that's what I did. Then I just went OD with it. A lot of things I've seen online that I want to buy recently and I'm like, what's the point? First of all, I don't go at nearly as much as I'd like to. I wanna to go to activities and events and networking this and seminars that. I have so many well-fitting outfits that I could just wear. I don't need a brand new one every time I wanna go somewhere. Breakfast super quickly, then get about my day. I probably won't check in with you guys until evening, late afternoon, early evening. I if hate Zoom so calls. Is my life supposed to be jiggling like that? This is so weird. I'm so excited for that one. Explain to me why I like this so much. It's giving old lady, but I like it. I'm back. I went to Zara. I was listening to Pastor Steven this morning and I felt like getting a Jesus dress. <laughs> Count on Zara to have exactly what I was thinking of. Truth be told, there was a couple other dresses that I saw, but they were super colorful and you know me, I'm a neutral girl. So I went with this one. It's super thin, it's giving see-through, 
I should have a slip wearing under this type of vibe, but we'll see when I try it on. And yeah, my original reason for going to the mall was to go to Lush. I feel so tense, so sore. I'm definitely doing yoga tonight, but I thought my hair is girly, so at least I can, because when it's straight, it's not possible to take a hot bath because it gets really curly underneath. And I've done it before. I've made the mistake of doing that. I also got a card. A lot of things are going on. So another card for another friend. I got my ultimate lotion. I think I mentioned this to you guys yesterday that I need to go and get the Dream Cream. So that's what I did. I was there for a good five minutes and the girl was so kind when I was checking out. She had asked me earlier if I need help. And I'm like, nope, because I was just zooming in doing the math so this is 45 grams and the next one up is 250 and when I divided it there's five times this product in the bigger tub but it's 30 bucks and just paying 30 bucks at once for lotion I think that's why I never got into the Fenty butter drop or whatever that you know which lotion I'm talking about that bomb that everyone's on because come on $50 for lotion I've done it before and I've regretted it so I don't know if I want to get back into that mode but at least I know the Dream Cream is A1. Then, of course, like I said, I want to take a bath tonight. This one's not mine. Is it? It doesn't smell like mine. I don't even remember what this one's called. This is also for a friend. It's this grubby. I should have bought one for myself, but they're so expensive now. I was like, mm -hmm. today's not the day. I'll go back for it another day. I love that thing and the irony is the person who introduced it for me is the same one who told me, yo, while you're there, grab one for me. I couldn't resist. It smells so freaking good. This is called turmeric latte. No surprise. Your girl loves go, go can't say it right. <laughs> I love turmeric lattes, aka golden milk. Thank God it doesn't smell like that because I don't know if I'd want to bathe in a literal turmeric latte, but we'll see how this goes tonight. I also love that it's got the gold, I don't even know if you can see, but yo, this right here is tonight's vibe, and I really hope that, why well, I always wear myself in the bath for the first half an hour, I'm like, toe in. You know, I've never got a massage in my life. The closest thing to was when I went to the, it starts with H in Marrakesh for my birthday, and that's when they wash you, so it's not even like a relaxing spa experience. But I would really love to get a massage before the year's over. So I'll put that on my 2022 bucket list. Have you gotten a massage? And if so, what kind? Because I know there's the aggressive kind, there's the relaxing kind, there's the Thai kind, there's the recalibrating your spine kind. I don't know any of the names. All I know is my friends swear by it, but I just can't rationalize spending $150 to $200 on it. So as a girl who went and did her facial last October for the first time. I loved it, but I did not love that price. $250 for a facial? Yeah, you can keep that. I'm gonna put this in the bathroom. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna eat because I am so hungry. So, so, so hungry. I should have eaten and drank a glass of water before I left. I was walking and I'm like, why am I so thirsty? I didn't have any water today, just coffee. How see-through is it? <laughs> this is a good beach cover-up for the days where I don't want to wear my other one because I tried to tell you guys in the last week vlog that sheer dress that I wear to the beach to the pool parties. I love that thing. I'm obsessed with it. And I wore it last week to the beach party that never happened, which also got cut out of the vlog. <laughs> I've been missing a lot of footage lately. But as the story goes, as I was walking in this neighborhood to go downtown, some Asian lady was like, there's some clothes on. I said, and there was no one else around. I don't know if it's because it's the same color as my skin. I don't know if because it was sheer, but I was wearing shorts. It's not like I'm wearing a thong bikini walking on the street, but I digress. I don't know. I wanted something that was feminine but classy but flowy but casual and i think this is giving now that i'm wearing it, it's also kind of giving frumpy <laughs> if you go to the app then you go to the second tab then you i'm gonna zoom in because i can't see but you go to search they allow the third option to be scanner of course if you can see perfectly unlike me it's a lot easier and all you gotta do is where is this damn rotted morale 
Then you hold it like so, so and so. Hello. Of course, when I'm doing the demo, I can't do it. There we go. I think it's coming. There we go. See, is it too bright? Let me turn the brightness down because I know sometimes cameras can't read phones that are too bright. So you see that right there? It almost seems like it's not even the right product because she's wearing it with pants too. Or maybe she's just, no, there are pants, right? That's, yo, I don't know. She's wearing it with pants. That's really giving Jerusalem. I like it. I just hope it's not as see-through as it looked when it was on the hanger. Because this is something that I probably wear a lot of the hot days that are left in the summer. But it's also a good transitional piece too because of the shade. Anyway, another story I want to share with you guys today since it's story time quarter over here. So yesterday I was at the supermarché, supermarket, and I was looking at fajita crusts. Don't know why, because I have a whole bunch of burrito bread or burrito, whatever you call the flat thing. Oh God, my words. And English is my first language, so I have no excuse. But I was looking at fajita crusts and this man while my headphones were in was like oh it's so easy to make and he gives me a full breakdown of a recipe and i just said only in canada see these white nikes it took me forever i haven't gotten a pair of nikes Whew. i told you guys in the first month long vlog when i came back from my hiatus the last time i bought nikes i was a teenager early aughts okay <laughs> and i decided to get these because i love the bottom not that anyone else sees, even me. <laughs> so something in my spirit told me not to walk too far on the train. Because usually I walk to the end where I would get off because I think if I walk while the train is moving, once I get to my stop, it saves me on time. Don't ask. I don't know if you're like that too. Moral of the story is something in my spirit. I don't know if it was one of God's angels. Wish that same angel would come and speak to me when it comes to love and those kind of things, but whatever. <laughs> Something told me to stop where I was. And would you believe the next stop, the train jolted and a couple who was for whatever reason holding each other's hands by holding the same cup of McDonald's Coca-Cola. Is it those $1 Coca-Colas? I don't know, I don't go McDonald's. But I remember back in the day I used to have the $1 big ass drink. Bring! Drink splashes on three people who were about two feet away from me and I said, only God. Because, no, not on my white shoes that I've only worn maybe five times. Literally, the splatter stopped maybe two steps away from my shoes. I was so relieved. That's a story on listening to your inner voice, your desertion, and when you have intuition, which doesn't always work when I need it to, but that's what this message is brought to you by. I can't stop and look the other way Cause I know it could be babe And you never feel the same You could be thinking about it every day Don't believe in fairy tales But we got our fantasies And it's me and you on the sheet Trying to be up to the seas Have you all up with me? I can like a sneak with you Bro, you can take it out of me Tell me what it's got to be Really feel this empty I can't tell you when the day I'll never fight on you I can remember I want you in I'm a little worried because I think I forgot an ingredient, but I can't remember which. I'm so grateful it's not salty.
morning guys it's nearly afternoon actually i'm contemplating whether or not i should get my nails filled because if you could see i'm just glad i can't see i also need a pedicure one of my nails broke in the middle always happens whenever i flip my foot under and over for upward and downward dog they're so thin and brittle okay you guys no need to know no one cares what you do need to know is that turmeric latte bath bomb yesterday was the business it was the truth honestly everything I needed and more. I can't remember the last time I took a bath, so it could also be that. I was really in need of a super warm, super long soak. So calming. And it had me ready and rested and calm for today because I had some things that were a little nerve wracking, but I got through it. I got through it with the help of people because guess what? One thing I learned this year is no man is an island on his own. I used to think, and maybe this is a cultural thing, that you know I'm gonna be bad all by myself or miss independent, like Neo said. But in actuality, the people that thrive and do the best do it on the backs of others. Okay, I mean, there's that, but what I really meant to say is it really does take a village, not just to raise a child, but to help each other, encourage each other to give skills and tips and just foster better habits in work, in personal life, in relationships. I definitely want to do a podcast on it because I think it's very essential and it's often overlooked, especially since Canada, especially according to my European friends, is a very individualistic society. And I heard the States is even worse according to my American cousins. So <clears throat> with all of that said, it's very important to know that community is key. It's clutch, we need it. That's how we're able to network for business, for example, or you know, meet that person who could one day become the one you partner with, or to build better bonds and have friends who also work as mentors that are good times during the laughs and bad times during the tears. It's all there. And I think because I'm an introvert at heart, I know, how could you tell? I mean, I talk to inanimate objects all day. Now, if I had to do what I do in a grants game on a stage, I don't know if I could. A lot of YouTubers are like that, you know, on a separate tangent. A lot of us are so good at brrr, going off the top when it comes to talking to a microphone or a camera. And then in real life, we're like, ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. Whenever I met subscribers, I'm like, oh, Lord, they probably think, I don't know what they think. I just think it's so funny whenever I meet subscribers in real life. I'm so grateful that people care enough to come up to me and acknowledge me. But I always think, like, Am I what they think I am? Because I'm a little teeny wee bit, not shy, but reserved. And it always catches me off guard because I'm like, wait, you watch my videos? Every single time I'm so enamored. I think that's the best word. It's just, I'm very grateful. Anyways, back on track, as I was saying, yes, you definitely need to work with community, whether you're an introvert, it's easier for extroverts, but Teamwork makes the dream work. The, these cheesy sayings exist for a reason. So that is my morning pep talk as we're coming into the afternoon. I don't know whether or not I should get the fill, like I said, because these nails took three hours, no cap. I don't know if you remember the vlog when I got it done, but Nadine's like, how did I get my pedicure and manicure done by the same person? So she did one and then the other. And in that time, you got your nails done. I mean, the color is everything. I'm here for it. I wish my nails grew out this color. They kind of do but i think i want to go for square so i'm wondering if she can chop it off i've never gotten a fill before usually when i get tips i get them taken off because i'm over it and i'm over it i'm over it but i don't know if today's the day because i want to get in with the same nail tech she's so good she really does take her time very detailed and very good i don't know if i have three hours it might not take three hours because it's a fill but still and then or alternately Alternatively, I never know if the word is alternately or alternatively. Can someone let me know? Whichever way it goes, the other option I have, which is probably what I'm gonna do, is since it's not pouring rain and super overcast, it's only mildly overcast, I can use my softbox and film a video on Atlanta episode five from season one. Did you see the trailer? I feel like I already talked about that in this vlog, but I'm so excited, I'm so hyped. September is a month that I never look forward to. I always hated August and September because it's the end of summer and then back to school as a kid, I hate that. And then my brother was born, who I love very much, but back back in the day, I'm like, I was fine being by myself. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. She says, bye. 
says it's dermatitis from the tape of the blood work that was done three weeks ago. Lovely. Ah. As if the $130 that I paid for the sample wasn't bad enough. Now I gotta pay more money because the tape caused a reaction. What a life! I got my nails fixed. Five dollar to fix one toenail. But hey, at least it's better. I feel like I'm in the wrong industry. If you can charge five dollars for some balloons and powder. Anyway, hey, lazy hack of the day. When you don't want to clip it, sometimes you just want something in your booty. I just clip it to the side. No one needs to know. But I'm going to take it off anyway because I'm going to put on the swimsuit. I figure it's about time. We're halfway done the season and I haven't worn this. And on that note, I think I'm going to return that dress because how hypocritical is it of me that I was talking about not buying anything in the morning and in the afternoon I get a dress. Much better than I used to be because there was a couple pieces there I wanted to get. But I told myself, nope, just one thing. But how about nothing? Especially when you have things tagged on it currently. Well, this is one of the five things that I have, so that's not bad. But anyways, we're going to go down to the pool. I love how the sun started to disappear. As soon as I had that idea walking home, I'm like, it's actually nice. Maybe not hot enough for a swim. We'll see. I got my hair tie in case. But definitely warm enough to wear this is a skirt and sit for a bit and listen to the rest of my podcast, which is really good. It's a lot about limiting beliefs, thought processes, what you say to yourself and the power you have. And then I come back up, edit to the video for tomorrow, which I might even post tonight, depending on how much I edit. And there was something else I was supposed to do. Oh, I have to post a TikTok. I'm gonna be late for that, which is okay. That, that's okay, because I don't get paid from TikTok, so it doesn't matter anyway. And then, my shoes. Shoes! Gosh, balcony sandals, they don't go anywhere else. One time I took them to the beach, if you saw that vlog. Mess, just a mess. I'm gonna fill this up with some aqua. Cause I always get down there and I'm like, oh, I'm so dehydrated, but do I wanna go up for water? And then I'm sitting there in the sun, dehydrated, and wanting to come up, but knowing if I come up, I'm not going back down. So before I put it in my bag, let me put water in it. This one, should I bring this one instead? Okay, maybe no, because it's glass. And glass by a pool, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. I don't know what the pool rules are. Does anyone do the whole don't eat for 30 minutes before you swim? Or is that just like that urban myth? Ah, solo dolo, eh? I thought it would be so packed. No vampires around here. All I smell is garlic from yesterday and I wiped every surface. I don't know what it is. All I do know is I'm gonna put an essential oil because that's not the vibe. I would make a smoothie because I haven't made one in a minute. Do I even have a banana? Oh my god, banana. Banana, banana. Ew. Okay, I don't even have spinach. I'm over these strawberries. They've been here forever and ever and ever. We don't wait on that one. I guess I'm gonna make a... Oh, I wish I had a raspberry. I would love a raspberry banana smoothie. Can I buy spinach? Mm. Have you ever made a smoothie with cherry? I don't wanna waste the cherries because they're expensive, just asking. Let's do a blueberry yogurt one. I don't know, sometimes I just keep making the same smoothies over and over again and I get sick. Sick of it. I put conditioner in my hair. I'm supposed to wash it out, but I'm gonna leave it in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for a swim after filming, but either way, my hair is dry dry. So I'm gonna leave this in for at least an hour, if not the whole day. I can't believe it's Carabana weekend. I also can't believe we don't call it Carabana anymore. I don't care what anyone calls it. I am not calling it 
Toronto Caribbean Festival or Carnival. It's Caravana. Always will be, even though I'm not even going. Okay. I'm going to make a blueberry yogurt, banana, strawberry? No. I don't have strawberries because I didn't buy strawberries at Farm Boy. I thought I'd get them cheaper at Metro, but they were the same price and they weren't fresh. Okay, so blueberry yogurt smoothie. Beyonce's doing what Drake couldn't with this whole dance movement. I have a theory. Now, Beehive don't come for me because you guys have a reputation of being wild on the internet. Beyonce and Drake are making rich people music for those who can afford it during the recession, those who can afford to go to concerts and raves and music festivals that cost a lot of money. This is where this kind of music is gonna be played. This could be just one of my crazy theories, but that's the way I see it. A lot of people are just saying, oh, it's not music for black people, or this is music for this demographic or that orientation. No, it's for people who have and make and continue to make money that can continue to make them money. So I'm not even faulting them for it. I just feel like I'm not rich. I'm not gonna be eating grapes on a yacht, listening to this music or on an elevator going up to the 80th floor of some rich invite only lounge. <laughs> But I can jam out while I'm cleaning my house. There's only like two, three songs I like anyway from both of those albums, so not for me. Is my hair dry yet? Because... No, not yet. Anyway, smoothie time. It gets loud. I'll check in with you guys later. respond to TikToks. Perfect word comma, the audacity period, work, ellipses, which is part of the problem, lol. Face with wide open eyes and flushed cheeks. Face with wide open eyes and flushed cheeks. Face with wide open eyes and flushed cheeks. Isn't it weird that it does it like that? Friends. My friends won't have the audacity knowing something will surely go down. I want to give you the biggest hug. By the note of some PPL, they need to be taught empathy or something. I'm so sad hearing this story. TYSM for your support. Sector 33Y. Why is it reading the wrong thing? Danny Mac the Maniac. It's not working! If you could only understand my frustration right now. I wonder if it would appear larger on my screen if I were to open up TikTok on my desktop. Guys, I'm so annoyed right now because five years ago, I would be able to do this in half the time. Afternoon guys, I was out all morning. I thought about vlogging, but the thing is, sometimes I just want to run my errands real quick. I had a lot to do. I returned the Zara dress, did a couple other things, went grocery shopping, and I just wanted to do it ASAP. And sometimes I feel like when I'm trying to get the angle right for vlogging, it really slows me down. Plus, it's boring stuff. So, I got the strawberries, because you know I've been talking all week about needing some strawberries. So I went to Farm Boy, because that's where they're extra fresh. I also got some mangoes, which I shouldn't be eating. If you watch my nutrition videos, you know why. And then some avocados. And when we're in the lobby, my neighbor was there, and I was just talking to her, and I'm like, oh, I'm cold, because we're always going back and forth about the weather. She thinks it's too hot. Clearly, if I'm dressed like this, it's cold. It's funny, because a lot of times when I see neighbors, at first, it takes me a while to register who they are because I have to see if they're walking the way that the person that I have in mind is walking because I mistake people all the time. But luckily, she's very easygoing about me not acknowledging or recognizing her because her husband was legally blind. So 
It's good. It's good when you meet people who actually know what you're going through and don't think you're being stush or rude. There's part and parcel of the whole situation. Let's have an honesty moment right now. Every single piece I bought from Skims has either discolored, pilled, or both. I love this dress. I think it's such a good idea, especially at the peak of the pandemic, to have loungewear that you can wear around, but also maybe run a quick errand in, although I wouldn't leave the house in this. But Kim Sis, the quality, and you have to hand wash it every time, but it still pills, and there's still these weird light spots on every single set. It's only this dress in the shorter version that hasn't gotten that discoloration yet, but every other set, and they're not cheap, especially when you do duties in exchange, Canadian dollar, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna make a smoothie because I'm feeling one. I'm gonna apple cider vinegar wash these in a bit, but I don't wanna do that right now. I wanna do a strawberry banana smoothie. That's what I'm craving, don't know why. I don't recall a caravana in the last 10 years that was this overcast and cold. I think it rained once that I can remember in my whole life. Usually caravana weekend is like a perfect summer vibe, but I don't know, mother nature's hating hard. some rent fires so you can hear that playing in the background no matter how much or how little you make youtube's always trying to take they already take 30 percent off the top that's for everything super chats adsense your firstborn they take everything and if you play a little melody then umg or sony comes for your neck anywho i'm gonna do this right now So is that it? Just like that. <sighs> Sayonara, star. Your discretion is advised. Don't say I don't warn you. Look at this. So gross. Ow! Every time. This is why I have all these bruises on the side of my bed. You think by now I would clear the space, but never. Eating my house, taking a little break from editing the vlog. I'm gonna end the vlog here, because once I'm done sweeping, I'm gonna get right back to editing to put the music on. And the text, the music itself is its own ordeal. So I hope that you like the music that I have on this week's vlog. And until tomorrow, AK next week for you. Stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. Yo, what is it about sweeping dust you can't see? I feel like the crumbs always escape me. <laughs>